Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick look at this model here. Some of you that watch the channel regularly will be looking at this and thinking, hang on a minute, that looks familiar. And it is. This is basically the same model as one that I've already looked at on the channel. Now that original one that you may be recalling is the Diatone Ripper R690. Now that is in grey foam and it is one of my top three wings of the whole of 2021. I put the DJI Air unit in the front of mine so it's HD uh, using the high capacity Tattoo 2200 4S batteries little Matek F411 WEC at the back it goes like stink. It's like a 150 mile an hour wing, uh, but you can build it in lots of different ways. And depending on how you build it, depends on the flying characteristics. But I built mine just to go like Billio. Now this one here is from He Wing. This is the F01, and you may have seen this in other places as well. And this initially confused me because when I was looking at this, I was thinking, hang on a minute. Is this one of those situations where somebody has ripped off someone else's design? But actually, checking with He Wing, they appear to be the manufacturers of the wing that Diatone sell. So actually, these are, this is the kind of original, and they re-badge it, white label it, I guess you'd call it, for people like Diatone. Now, for regular viewers, you will know that I like wings. I like wings of all type. But the, these smaller, compact wings really get my vote. I like this wing design because it is cheap, or it can be. You can get it in lots of different versions, and the Diatone one has been appearing in lots of sales recently, so you can get it for pretty cheap money. It's a nice solid wing, and it is designed with the modern hobby in mind. So there's space for that FPV gear and flight controller and all that stuff, as I've shown, as I've installed it in my other version that I've already got. So why get another one of the same wings? Well. I really like that first wing that I talked about, the diatone version that I got originally, but it is getting a little beat up. It's one of those wings that doesn't survive crashes very well. I have laminated the main parts of my diatone version, but it's going to eventually give up the ghost. And also, I want this version to potentially build out in a slightly lighter way to make it a bit more of a floaty wing so that I still have the ability to transport it around easily, but I don't have to fly it like I stole it. So maybe, who knows, put analog in this and try and use a smaller battery, something like a 1300 or something similar. So let me talk about some of the specs. Wingspan is 690 millimeters. Height is about 88. Length is about 415. Uh, the VTX setup in here, with all the pieces that you get, you do get the option to mount digital video transmitters like the DJI system, like I have in my other version, but also piece of cake to put analog stuff in here as well. Uh, the ESC compartment is 70 by 38 by 20 millimeters. Again, this one has come with the cover for the ESC area glued in. Uh, I wish they didn't do that. It would make actually securing that piece in a little bit easier. Material is made out of EPP, ABS with carbon fiber reinforcement. Reckons on the website, maximum flight speed of about 200 plus kilometers an hour. Uh, with standard setups without going crazy on a 4S battery, you can easily get about 110, 115 miles an hour. Uh, if you want to build it for endurance, then you can. Uh, but the takeoff weight you're kind of aiming for with this is 350 to 850. I think the DJI version that I showed you, flying weight was around the 600, 650 grams, so slightly towards the heavier side. Again, if you keep it lighter, then it'll be a slightly more floaty model. It doesn't float brilliantly, so it's not one of those kind of wings that you can turn the power off and just soar about. Um, around about 27 kilometers an hour, so around 18, 20 miles an hour, it'll kind of drop out the sky. So you do have to come in under power and kind of slide across the grass. Um, the propeller on this is a 5x5 five five or a 6x4, and it's really built for 2s to a 4s but to be honest you're going to be running on a 3 or 4s really unless you're doing a really really lightweight build 
motor on this particular version from HEE Wing is the FX2205 2350 brushless motor. Very similar to what I put on my other one. It's a 35 amp brushless ESC and a diatone 5 volt 2 amp uh, battery illuminator circuit. The ESC and the BEC are separate, which is a really weird choice uh, for this. It would be so much easier if they just put an ESC in the box that had all of that stuff done. I'll show you how I've put that all together in a minute. Servos are nice. They're kind of 9 gram size, but they're 12 gram metal geared servos. And it comes with all of the cables and pieces that you need to put it together, including the heat shrink. Building tips. Interestingly, there isn't a lot of great building information on the He Wing website themselves, but there are building tips hanging around for the diatone version. So I would get hold of that one and follow that. Hopefully He Wing will update their website to include things like build instructions. Uh, I would definitely install the motor shim, which is at the back. I've got the motor shim on the diatone one. My friends who have got the same wing have too, and it seems to fly brilliantly. The hardest thing is to set up that BEC and ESC. What you have to do is you have to kind of piggyback the battery illuminator circuit, the one that comes in the kit, onto the ESC so that you could plug it into a spare port on your receiver, and then that would provide the 5 volts to power the receiver and the servos and... Uh, it just requires a little bit of effort. Again, it's all covered in the build instructions that you can find online. I would really put a call out to He Wing and just say, please, 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 if you're going to update this kit, please put an ESC in here that actually has that ability. Now, obviously, you don't need the battery eliminator circuit piece, that little a separate board, if you're going to be using a flight controller. Most modern flight controllers, things like the Matex systems that I use a lot, are quite happy to provide the 5 volts. Uh, but for those that don't, you, you do need the 5 volts to run everything. And it's just so much easier for builders if it's there already in the ESC. I wouldn't install the wings until everything else is in. Uh, I had to cut the, the hole for the GPS in my original one. And once you have glued the wings in, that then gets incredibly tricky to do neatly. I'd also recommend covering the leading edges, winglets, and the bottom in something for protection. It could be as simple as some duct tape, uh, although I'd recommend using a little bit of laminate. I'd also recommend popping a little bit of glue or some tape over the magnets that hold the hatch shut. The hatch magnets do seem to pop off in a crash, and both me and my friend have had to glue ours in several different times. So I just want to show you this different version of one of my favourite wings from the whole of 2021. This He Wing F01 is a fantastic compact little wing that you can build out in whichever way is going to suit you. And it is incredible fun to fly and super portable. With those additions and strengthening things I've talked about, it'll make a nice robust thing. But it also means that you can have a sub 700 millimeter wing with a DJI HD system in, zooming around over the treetops over 100 miles an hour with this kit too. There's also something else that He Wing are doing at the moment, and this is this model here. This is something they're calling the T1 Ranger. Now, I haven't had one in yet, but I've got an order in for one. Uh, this is a twin. It's not a massive twin. It's only 730 millimeters, so it's not that much bigger than this little wing. But it's got a tail, and it's a twin, and it's also got that kind of same nice internal layout. So this potentially could be a really cute way if you want a more conventional aircraft to also have all of the cool stuff that the F01 has in a more conventional plane layout. But this one also does break down for transport as well. So stay tuned, I'm gonna be making a couple of videos and building up my T1 Ranger with a flight controller and doing those other pieces as well. And that idea of a little baby twin that kind of looks like a really grown up version of the ZOHD Drift is something that I'm really excited about getting my hands on. So stay tuned for that. And in the meantime, if you have been looking again for a smaller wing for a project over the winter, the He Wing F01 is one of my top wings for the year.
Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.